Now let us understand what is the collective access to stock requirement list and MRP list. Okay. Now, if you see your screen MD04, if you go back from this, okay, you can see. Oh, sorry, let me put this material. Laptop B14 is your material. Okay. We go and we check the this material. Okay, in this way. Right. Now, if you go for collective access, okay. So collective access is what you can go. A collectively instead of going for one material see for my bad, md04 here you have provision to update one material okay everyone you can go and check what is one material particular material details of mrp results but you imagine you are a planner okay uh, or you are looking for some particular vendor details being a buyer or you are a, a person who is looking specifically for some kind of uh, vendor related details okay so if you go to collective access button in md04 or md05 both i will show you so either you can provide mrp area or you can provide the plant okay plant is mandatory but after that you can provide mrp controller or product proof or vendor or production line okay whatever combination you have okay or class okay so mostly mrp controller is so we will use mrp controller over here okay and we can have these details available and we can execute okay and you can press enter button okay and system will give you now md04 details for all the materials for which mrp control 001 is updated in your metal master okay okay do system is taking time okay it will go because number are almost 1161 material has been selected for which system is taking mrp uh, details for them okay so in this collective mrp result we can have this okay we can put more restrictions okay like procurement type mrp type materials type so that it will reduce your uh, this running time now it's taking time right so we can reduce the time by selecting our different different elements like procurement element or MRP type or something like that. Okay. So now here you can see these are the different different material for which MRP control is there. Now what system will show you? System will show you stock. Okay. Base to supply. First order. Okay. Second round. And first delivery. What how much quantity you are going to receive? What is your plant stock? What is your safety stock? What is your reorder point? What is your MRP type? Okay. What is your procurement type element? Okay, it is in house or bought out or whatever it may be. So all the selection criteria or the selections are details at header level will be available, and this can be used by mostly the particular uh, what do you say buyer or planner because he want to go for all materials. He is not responsible for single material. He has to take care of a lot of material at the same time. Okay, and then suppose he decide okay, let me check for apple juice. What is going to ha happen? So you can select that apple juice and go to stock requirement list and you can jump into the md04 again okay in an individual manner now he can see the what is happening in this apple pulp and he can have the details idea what is the result or what is current situation of this again you can go back and select oh no apple for then now let me go for next material okay so i have to see the details for battery charger something like that and i can go for this and I can check battery charger details. Okay. So collective access is for collectively you can put the details for no. Okay. You still want to exist? Yes, I want to exist. So you can go for procurement type F, okay, or procurement type E in house material, MRP type should be PD, and material type should be fault. Okay. So something like that, you can put a, a restriction for filters or something like that. Okay, and you can enter okay now only 100 materials has been selected because of this restriction or filter criteria now you are having more easy output so now this is a tiago car okay something like that we can go and check its details okay so this is called as a collective access even though you want to go for results okay in md05 also md05 we can have the same output okay collective access we can go for mrp controller here we can have mrp data what was last time our period happens okay so you want to select something like that from june to till july 
whatever MRP run happens for MRP control 001, I want to see that data. Okay. Then exception group, you can select something like that. Processing indicator material data. Okay. Procurement type should be E, MRP type should be PD, and MRP control should be FERT. Whatever details you would like to have, those you can add it. But date is important because this is what MD05. It will talk about the results of your MRP run happens during this date range. Okay. Enter and you can see this is the output. Okay. And based on the output, you can see in this date range only this many material have gone through the MRP run. And what is their output? You can go and select MRP list. So you can see the result when last MRP run happened. Okay, now you can see for this material, the MRP run happened on 13th July. Okay, 13th July at this time, this MRP run happened for this Red Bull material. Okay. Sounds good, team. Are we clear? Everyone clear what yes, is sir. access and collective access? Yes, sir. It? Okay. This is used only for uh, people like a planner or some people who want to have details in a one go. A lot of filters are available. They can use it. Okay. In MD04, we can have this requirement list up here. Okay. We can we have without stock, with stock. Okay. First receipt delivery, second receipt delivery and everything. We can check this RDS, one RDS, second RDS and these are the date, first receipt, second receipt, the plant stop. A lot of details we can have over here. Okay. Collective access for MRP list also, we can see over here.